I want every student to come into their first year writing class knowing that they have something to offer, knowing that they're not coming in and being placed in a deficit position. Now, the first year writing class might challenge them to do more. I do believe everyone's an author, and I want I want those everyone's to be authors with authority. They need to know that what they have to say is important. And I believe our book will help them say it in the most effective way. I've always felt that the two most important aspects of everyone uh, are solid grounding in rhetoric and its responsiveness to students. We work diligently on each edition to provide clear instruction, relevant examples, and supporting guidance. It's very accessible. It's not drudgery at all to read this book. And it's very comprehensive. The navigation features in both the ebook and the print versions uh, make the book very usable and practical. We have marginal cross references, we have a very agile index and glossary, we have thematic tables of contents. Going into the fourth edition, we knew we had a real job in front of us to try to make our book even more helpful to students who need to be able to get their voices out there. The goal of the language rhetoric and power chapter was to provide some context to students about debates about language, to also point out the relationship between linguistic diversity and equity, and to point out to students that particularly those students who are speaking and writing in language or in a variety of language that is oftentimes demeaned, labeled as non-standard and inferior, that it in fact is not. We're trying to hold up a mirror to all our own attitudes and opinions about language usage. I have spent a good bit of my career advocating for collaboration and collaborative writing. It seemed really important that this textbook be a collaborative effort. And we were also uh, incredibly fortunate uh, in this fourth edition to welcome a new co-author, uh, Jessica Enoch. That's been a big thrill at the same time that we lost our beloved colleague, Lisa Ede. I was especially excited about the direction that the textbook was going in. I felt like the textbook was really on the cutting edge of what we're trying to do in rhetoric and writing studies. So I worked specifically on the reflection chapter. Reflection enables that moment to step back and to understand what's going on and to see yourself as a writer. And I think it's just a very important part of the growth process for writers. I also worked a lot on the multimodal chapter and the remix. I found at Maryland that that's the, the remix is the assignment that students really get into the most and get the most excited about. We work very hard to make sure students from wherever they are, from different parts of the world, different parts of the country, students, whether they're rural or urban, suburban, see themselves in this book. Most of all, we want them to be successful, effective, ethical, communicators, and we want them to be able to speak in ways that will make our world a better place. We know that they have the power to do that, and we hope that our book will be a small help to them in doing so.